Hi everyone, JP here at Websites for Beginners and we are looking at creating a blog within WordPress. This tutorial is really focused on people who have not done this before or who have kind of ventured into it but very unsure exactly how does this blog thing work within WordPress. So if you are entirely new to that, this tutorial is just for you but also for people who know about WordPress but want to learn about Bloxy. If you know about themes and you know Bloxy, this tutorial is also going to give you a window into the world of Bloxy. What I'm not going to show you is how to set up WordPress. That is something completely different. So I assume that you either have a host with WordPress or like me, you're using a local server where you can practice for free. And I will leave a link to local, which we can say it's local because local by flywheel, which is this platform that I am using to run WordPress on while I'm here on my PC, also for a Mac. Right, so before we begin, let's just quickly talk for a minute or two about what is a blog. A blog is a journal. It's like a magazine where somebody pours out their thoughts or they write a journal or they write articles and then people can come to your site and they can get these articles. It makes it a little bit different from a normal website, whereas you constantly are adding new articles and these keep updating. This is what WordPress was made for. And when you really want to do blogging, the best bet for you is WordPress. WordPress is streamlined for blogging. And you're going to see that when we go into creating posts and blogs, that everything in there is focused towards a blog. Whereas when you are creating normal websites in WordPress, there's a lot of stuff that you don't use because they are related to blogging. They're not related to normal page building, but then they overlap. In this one, we're going to focus 100% on blogging for beginners, and you will get a very good idea of how to set up a blogging site with WordPress. Let me log in. And we get into the WordPress dashboard. From here, this is a vanilla install, means that everything is as is. I haven't touched anything. So I'll go through the process what I do when I get here to the WordPress administration area. On the left is the WordPress navigation sidebar. Everything on the side is usually referred to as a sidebar. And we have these labels here. A lot of them we're not going to use. We only talk about those things that we are going to use. But because I like to work in a clean environment, I like to get rid of the default installation. WordPress throws in a few things there. So if you go to this label over here that says posts, and this is where we will be focusing on most of the time today, you will see that there is one called Hello World. That is a post that WordPress adds there by default, and we don't want to use that. To get rid of this, we delete it, and it says over here trash. Now, currently, because of my installation of WordPress, it is set to American English, and that's why you see the word trash. If you were to change the language of your WordPress site or the WordPress interface, you are going to see that these words will change. But we're not going to care about that. That's going in too much for this tutorial. Over here, if you click on pages, you will see there are also two pages included. Now, pages is what we work with when we work with a normal website. No blogging, no journals, no news. We're not going to do anything with pages in this tutorial, but they are there and they can be annoying. And again, these are just defaults that had been added by WordPress. To get rid of them, select them, or you can delete them one by one. I'm just going to select them all. And then you go to bulk actions, move to trash and apply. It's very unnecessary what I just did, but I just like it gone. And now we are going to begin building out our website. The first thing, the first thing is to go and see how this website will look to a visitor when they come to your site. And to do that, you go up here where you see the little house, the little home, and you can click on visit site or you just click here. And mine is called Bloxy Blogging. And when you click on it, it's going to switch to the front end and it will show you how this website will look to people who come and visit your site. Of course, here we're going to make a lot of, lot of, lot of changes, but this is currently how it looks. Focus on that word that I use, look. Now, when we talk about how it looks, we talk about this thing up here, which is the header. This is where you have a menu and you have a logo. We talk about this thing here, which is the sidebar. 
where you have categories and you have other things. And you can see that here we have it in a pink color. And we also have here recent comments. And at the bottom, we have a footer area. The font, the color, the style, how it looks, this is all regulated by the theme. And this is the theme, how it feels, how it looks. And WordPress comes pre-installed with a theme, which nobody likes, and we don't want to use it. We don't want it to look like this, and we want something that's a little bit more powerful because this theme is so weak. That's it, and, and we don't have to say more about it. We don't want to use this theme. So we, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and change this theme. So from the front end here, we go to the back end. We click up here again. You see the little dashboard sign. This will take us again to the administration dashboard. And then we want to change the theme. And that is a look. And the look is appearance. So in the sidebar, you go to the label that says appearance. And as you hover over it, you will see themes over here. Click on this. And then you will see these three. Or you will see two or four or more. Sometimes it depends on the installation, what you will get. But if it's a new vanilla install in 2020, you're going to see Active 2020. This is the default theme given by WordPress for you, gratis. And of course, like I said, we don't want it. Do you want these two? Neither. You want to bring in a new theme and themes. There are so many to choose from. My recommendation is go for one that is new, trusted, and used by many people. And for that, this, in my opinion, actually only a few. We are going to build it from scratch and I'm going to show you a new theme on the block called Bloxy. And these guys have been working very hard on this theme. It's a free theme. What I'm going to show you is everything free. And in my opinion, there's no other free theme that comes close to Bloxy, period. Everything I'm going to show you, if you find another theme, you're going to find it has shortcomings compared to Bloxy. So where do I get this? For the free themes, you can find it within the WordPress repository. Repository is a big word. That means the WordPress library, everything in the WordPress folder. And to do that, you go up here and you click on Add New. This is going to give you a display of actually many other themes. And you don't look at them. You just miss them completely. And then you go to Search Themes over here and type in Bloxy, like so. And it's going to search and it's going to give you the Bloxy theme here as a search result. Hover over it and then you click on install. And what it's going to do now, it's going to download this theme into your WordPress site. Download it and then you click on activate. Before you click on activate, just go back here to appearance and click on themes. And then you will see that Bloxy has now been added as a theme, but that the active theme is still 2020. If we go to the front end and we click on it, you will see it's still this look. Go back and now go to Appearance, Themes, and we hover over Bloxy and select Activate. This is going to activate Bloxy now and replace 2020. You see 2020 moves here to the right. It is not active, it's just hanging there. You can leave these guys or you can go ahead and delete them. And to delete them, let's click here on 2019 and then you will see Delete here in the bottom. Click on delete and it will ask you, are you sure? And you just say, okay. And you can delete the rest. I'll leave it. This is the one that we want to work with. Up here, it's saying something about a Bloxy companion. And we'll talk about the companion in a wee bit. Before we do that, let's just go to the front end again. And let's see what Bloxy has done to how our site looks and feels. Go up here, click on it, and you will see very different. Now, most people's reaction is at this point, but this looks less interesting than the previous one. In fact, it looks too empty, too clean, too minimal. And at the end of the day, just trust me, this is what you're looking for, because a lot of this allows you to build it up the way you want. It may not look much now compared to the 2020 theme I'd shown you earlier, but trust me, it's far more powerful. Let's go back into the WordPress dashboard, click up here again. And let's talk about that companion. So you see, as we get into the dashboard, it says again here at the top, thanks for installing Bloxy, you rock. We strongly recommend you to activate the Bloxy companion plugin. This way you will have access to custom extensions, demo templates, and many other awesome features. 
Now, I've seen a few people skip this because the theme is installed and they think they can use the theme, but you miss out on a few features. And one of them is transparent headers. We won't go too detailed into transparent headers during this tutorial, but if you are interested in a free theme like Bloxy with transparent headers, then you definitely have to install the Bloxy Companion. And how this works is you click on it, it's going to download and then you upload it. So let's click on download Bloxy Companion and it's going to open a tab there and then click here on download now. And then from here it will download from your browser. Go back to your WordPress site. Now you're going to install this through your plugins folder. Go to the plugins in the sidebar and select add new. This that you see over here is the WordPress repository, but we are not getting it from there. We have to upload it this time. So up here, you will see the option to upload the plugin and then you can drag it in there or you can click here and you can enter it. What I do is I just click here at the bottom, click and hold, and then I drag it and I drop it over choose file. And you will see it says there Bloxy Companion dot zip and click on install now. It has installed, but it hasn't activated. And this is the two-step process, how WordPress always works. You have to upload and install something. And then the second step is to activate it. Once I click on activate, this splash screen you're telling me about the Bloxy Companion will disappear because it recognizes that it's been installed. So it's not going to tell you that each and every time anymore. Here's a few things. We are going to just click here on skip because we're not interested in that. And now we have installed Bloxy as well as the Bloxy Companion. And this is the Bloxy Companion or the Bloxy dashboard area where you will have a lot of settings and options. We will barely look at this during this tutorial. But just for your reference, you will see that here in the navigation sidebar on the left, under dashboard, it also says Bloxy now. And this is where you can get all these features. This will only appear if you have installed the Bloxy Companion. If you haven't installed the Bloxy Companion, nada, you're not going to see it. Just close this bar here at the bottom and that's how it looks. Nothing has changed on the front end. If I click here, you will see it still looks the same. Let's go again to the back and I'll just click this tab here at the top. And if you want to know more about Bloxy, check the link in the description below. This is a free theme. It's a very powerful theme, the most powerful theme in my opinion at the moment, and it's fast. And what we mean by fast is that it loads your website very quickly so that when people come to your site, it doesn't take so long for the site to load. There is a pro version in the works that is still under wraps, but in the near future, if you're interested in pro features, make sure you check out Bloxy for the pro version that's in the works. This is the free version, and we're going to make a stunning site with this free version. Let's start talking about posts. You are a journalist. You are a person that likes to blog. You like to put on your memoirs or your travel experience. So you go to a place and every time you go there, you write an article. And that's what a post is. A post is a news article. And that's how it is designed. So to write that article, you have to create it. It's like a new document that you have to create. And we do that here on the left. You will see posts, we were there earlier. And if you click on all posts, it appears empty. It's only this filter at the top and at the bottom. We had one post at the beginning and we deleted it. But what we wanna do now is we want to create our first post. And I'm going to be using random stuff during this tutorial because it's just to show you how to do it. It's not real stuff. Some of it will look real, but it's just random text and images that I will be using. Let's create our first post and the clue is up here, add new. And this is what we do, click, and it takes us into this area where it talks a little bit about the block editor. The block editor is what we use to write these articles. So you can go a little bit through this. I'm going to close out and this is how this page will appear with Bloxy. And what we are going to do now is begin to write our first article. And I have in mind, let's say like a travel blog, somebody who goes to different countries and every country they visit, they write a little bit about that country. And I'll start with the country that I know so well, which is South Africa, my own country. I have to give this article a title. 
and I'm going to, and this is the title that will appear to your readers. So I'll call this something from the winelands from the winelands to mountains. Should I put it in caps? Let's do that. From the winelands to mountains. And after I've done that, I'm going to publish it. You can save it as a draft, but for this tutorial, I'm going to publish it. And what does publish mean? It means that if somebody has a link to your site, they will be able to access this article. It's live. It's out there in the world. We click here on publish, and it was going to ask you, are you really ready to publish this? And I'm going to say publish again. And then now this is published. It says up there, and I close it out. And we are back here because now we have to start building it out. From the beginning, get used to this button up here, preview, because we want to see how this will look on the front end when people come and view it. Click on preview, and it's going to open a new tab in your browser, and this is how it currently looks. So up here, we have our header area, and we have where the logo will go. Over here will maybe be a menu, and then here you will see from the winelands to the mountains is my title. And then down here is what we refer to as metadata. This is actually very important. And this is what makes WordPress such an important blogging platform. By admin, this is the author, the person who wrote this. And currently it is me. And that's why it says by admin. We will change that so it will say my name and even a photo of me. The next thing it will show is when this article was written. And we can change that too. We can set it for the future or we can take it back into the past. And then over here, it is the category. So for example, if I have different categories, if I'm making food, I can have food which I want to categorize as Italian food. And then when people click here, it will show them only Italian food. This is how we're going to use categories. Down here, social share button. So if people read it and they click on it, it will share to these platforms. And then there is a comment here at the bottom. So where does all of this come from? So we're going to be jumping now from the back. I click up here to the front all the time. Every time we do something, we click here on preview, it updates and we come here to the front to see how this article is shaping out. Let's go to the back end. Let's first give this article a little bit of meat. And the first meat we give an article is a featured image. Think of a book with a cover. When you go into any bookstore or library, a book has a cover. Usually there's an image or a title on the front. And that's what we want to give our article. From the winelands to the mountains, we want to give it a cover. And we call this, in the world of WordPress, a featured image. Most of these settings are all here on the options sidebar on the right. So if you go here, you will see these labels. We can collapse them. We can extend them. And I've been talking about that cover we want to give it, which is a featured image down here. Click on this, and then it says set featured image. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up an area called your media library. This here is for uploading files. And you see it says your media library. This is where all your images will go. Click on this, and currently it's empty. Because guess what? We haven't uploaded any images yet. And there are many ways that you can bring in images here. I'm going to show you the easiest and the smoothest way to do that. If you're on a Mac, you're going to use your Finder. On a Windows, you're going to use Explorer. And we're purely going to drag it and drop the image in here. So let me open up my Explorer. And I navigate to the area where the images are that I'll be using for this one. Yep, so these are the guys that I will be using. I'm going to use this image here for South Africa as my cover image, my featured image. Click, hold and drag, and drop it. You will see the screen turns blue. And you just drop it, and it will upload this image very, very nicely. A very important thing when working with images in WordPress is you have to give it an alternative text. You see, as I bring it in, there's a title, there's a caption, and these things are embedded within the image. But what we love to do is give it alternative text. And this text has to relate to what this image is about, plus your website. So you try and combine these two, which means that if people search online, this image may pop up. And when they look at the image, it may be bring them to your website. So you want to do that. What I do in this case, I'm just going to go here to the title. I'll highlight all of that. 
I'll copy it, control command C, and then I go to alternative text and I'm just going to paste the same. It can be the same, nobody cares. And then here you say set featured image. And what this will do is bring that image in and it will load it here within the featured image area of this post page, of this post. Remember to update. So we go here, we click on update and let's go and see what happens on the front end. I'll click on preview, but I'm not going to click on preview. What WordPress does is that when you have a preview tab open from a previous instant and you click on update, it's going to update the preview automatically. So if I go here to the tab and I click here now, it is updated and you will see it does not display. How can I make this display here on this article page? And we will come back to that at a later instance. I will show you in the customizer how to do that. Let's just give this thing a little bit of content so it looks better. And to do that, we bring in the WordPress, also known as Gutenberg, the WordPress Gutenberg editor to build it out. You see over here is a plus. If we click on this, it will say add block. And this is going to give you a selection of elements, widgets, blocks. We call them different names, but it's going to give you a selection of things that you can bring in to build out content. Over here, for example, you see image, you see paragraph and heading. And almost most of the time, these three are going to be your go-to guys that you will bring in for using. So let's have a heading. I'm going to click on heading and I'm going to call this an experience of a lifetime. And this will be our subheading because this is our title at the top. This will be our subheading. Now this title at the top actually has a special name in the world of blogging in WordPress and even for other websites. It's called the H1, heading one. It is the name of this page. So this one here, which is like a sub one, we want to give it a different one. And you can see here on the sidebar, you will see it says H1, H2, and it's already set to H2 because it doesn't want you to use H1 because this one up here is H1. So this one is H2 and we like it there. Let's update it. And remember, as I click on update, you will see that the preview here will also update automatically. There, the little wheels run. And if I go now there, you will see here it is, an experience of a lifetime. So we have this subheading now. If you want that font to be a little bit smaller, just go back and you select H3. You see, H4, H5, H6. But I'm going to put it back on H2 because that's kind of where I want it. Then under here, let's say now you start writing your blog. So it's going to be long text and that is a paragraph. Add block and look for paragraph over here. Click on it and it's going to just give you that flashing cursor. And if you start typing randomly, this is how it will display. When we are working with a site like this, we just use some random text. And I use something online that generates text for me. We call it lorem ipsum. So I'll go here to my tab at the top and make a new one. And I'll type in lorumipsum.io. You see there, lorumipsum.io. Enter, and it's going to give me this generator, which is going to make this text for me in Latin. And I can use more than just this paragraph. I choose five, and I click here on generate. And this is really just text that we use, we call it placeholder text. So for example, this is a very long article, so I'm going to select three paragraphs here, all the way, copy it, and then go here, and then just select this text that I typed, Control Command V to paste it. What is important to remember, if I go here, you see I have selected three paragraphs. If I go to the back end, you will see three paragraphs, but as I click on each of these paragraphs, you will see they are put inside their own block. Whenever you make a new paragraph in the WordPress Gutenberg editor, it's gonna put it for you again in a different block. So if I go over here, click and enter return on my keyboard, it's going to make another paragraph and a new block. That's how this editor works within WordPress. Let's update and then we go and view it on the front end to see how this had worked. So now, now you get that feeling, aha, uh -huh. This kind of feels like a, a blog, right? We have the title up here, then we have maybe the subtitle or subheading, and then we have some text. And then what do we need? We need images. Let's go to the back, go here where it says start writing, 
click on the plus and let's bring in an image. And this time you see again, upload media library, insert from URL. But remember what I told you, if it's just one image, you simply go to your finder, your explorer, and I'm going to look for one of my ooh, images here. Let's take this one. I click and hold and drag it. You see the blue area and drop it and it's going to upload that image for us. So what have we got here? We've got the image and as the image comes in in this block, you will see the settings on the side in the options sidebar also changes because now here it says image. So we know we're working with the image and then it has settings down here for this image. You also see these little blue handlebars. So I can grab it and I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, like so. And if I mess it up, you go here to the sidebar, click on reset, or you can just delete it and bring it in again. Let's see how this will look though on the front end. So click here on update and it updates there. We look at it, scroll down and there's the image. And this is starting to look like a blog. After I brought in this image, I think to myself, but uh, I would like the image actually up here. So what you can do, you go to the handlebar here on the left of this block with the image in, and you can just click here on the move up and it moves it one of these blocks up. Alternatively, on the little dots, you click and hold and you drag it and you will see that blue line gives you the areas where you can drop it. So let's drop it over there. And now it looks like this. Let's bring in more images at the bottom. So we look for the plus. And if you cannot see that little plus here at the bottom, simply go up here next to the W, click on this plus, and you have the same area where you can bring in blocks. Let's bring in another image. And I'll go to my Explorer and grab this one, drop it in there. That looks good. It even has a caption. And this caption comes if there's a caption in the image. If there's no caption in the image, like this one, you can simply type your own, my own caption. Good. And then let's add some more text here, or let's start with another heading. Heading, and we keep it on H2. Is this South Africa for a moment? I think this doesn't look like South Africa. Well, like I said, just random images, right? So let's say uh, the best wines or the best wildlife. Wildlife. And then we bring in another image, click on the image over here. Oh, it's God's window. I should know it's God's window, right? And there we have some wildlife and then we bring in some more text down here. So we look for paragraph, go grab some random paragraph again, or text, copy that, come back here and paste it. And we can break a few paragraphs here as well to make it not so monotonous. And this way you build it up. Look at this. This is how you build out a blog. You have your headings, you have your text, you have your images, just like you would in any other word processor. What is important here? And this is very important to understand about the WordPress Gutenberg editor. This thing that we are using to build it is I've shown you a heading. I've shown you paragraph for text and I've shown you images, but there are many, many more that you can use. You are not confined to only these guys. So if you're here at the bottom, you don't see the plus, you can just go up here, click on add block. And then let's collapse this here so we can see what's going on here. We've got common blocks, formatting, layout, widgets, embeds. And here at Websites for Beginners, we actually have dozens, dozens of tutorials on different ways of using this, add-ons that you can use here, other apps that can enhance this experience. Go check them out. And the more you use it, the better you'll get at it. But the common blocks is the one where you should go and just have an idea of what you can do. You have the paragraph, image, and heading. So you can see these guys are pretty common. Then you have gallery, you have list, quote, and these are the ones that WordPress assume most people will be using when they are building out their blocks. And each of these blocks, as you bring them into the page, have their own settings. And as you click on a block, let's go to the heading again, the settings update here in the sidebar. Paragraph, different settings, image, different settings. And you know which one you've selected up here. It will tell you image, paragraph, and this one is heading. Let's update and go have a look at how this will currently look on the front end. And so there we go. And there is our first article, our first post. Let's go back. 
let's close out here and let's go have a look at what has happened behind the scenes. So I'll close this one, but I'm going to leave lorem ipsum open because we may use it again. And then from here, I want to go back into the WordPress dashboard where the administration is done. Just click here on the W in the top left corner and it takes us back to where the posts are. Now you will see from the winelands to the mountains, this post that we have created appears over here now. If I go to the front end up here, click on Bloxy Blogging, you're going to see an interesting update. Ooh la la, you didn't expect this. Well, if you've worked previously with Blocks, you would have expected it. But now you are very much impressed because here is that featured image we had brought in. Here is the name of the article. And then you can see a few things have moved around. We have a little bit of text here from the article. We have our admin, who is the person, as well as the date, and then up here, the category. This is just a little card. It's just a little area that shows you what this article is all about. So if somebody comes to your site, because this is the page that will bring them to your site, they will see this post, a little excerpt, and if they click on it, it's going to take them to this one where we had written it. So let's learn a word here. Let's go back. We click here on back to go to this page. This page is going to contain a display of all your posts in a short format. And we refer to this as your blog posts page, or we call it the archive page. It's like an archive of putting everything together. This here, if you click and you go into it, is a single post. That post we had written, it's just one post. So you will hear me use this terminology quite often. I'll repeat those concepts again so you don't get lost along the way. Let's go back. So we click here on Bloxy Blogging and it takes us into the WordPress administration dashboard again. Now I'm going to do a few things. I want to go to the single post. Posts, all posts here from the winelands to mountains. And I wanted to make some changes to how this looks on the front end. Let's go here, click on it. And here we are back in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. And let's see again how it looks on the front end. We click here on preview. It takes us here. I want a few things here. I want a sidebar here on the side. Do you remember what is a sidebar? A sidebar is where we can put a few things in there that people can click on. So let's go and see how we can do this. This is all connected to the theme. For this, we are going to apply to all our posts. So we want all of them to have the same layout. And when we want to apply to all of them, we do it within the theme and the theme customizer. And there are a few ways you can get to the theme customizer. Method number one is to go up here and click on customize while you are in the front end. Method number two is to go into the back end. I'm here, go back to our WordPress area, appearance, and then you will see customize over here. The choice is yours. They all do the same. They're just different shortcuts to get to the same place. But let's go here. And I'm going to go to Appearance, Customize, and it's going to open the Theme Customizer. In essence, the Theme Customizer looks the same from one theme to the next, but at the base, they are very, very different in how they work. It loads the Customizer for us with the options on the left, and here we have a display of our site. And currently, we see our landing page where people will arrive, and we see this archive page. We want to make changes to our single post. So we go here and we click on it and it will take us into this single post. Now remember this term, single post. So when we go here to the sidebar, you will see we have general options, post types, and post types should be a clue because we want to work with posts. And then you will see here single posts. Everything that we want to affect this page, we're going to find here. So let's click on single posts and we have a load of options over here. Let's start here and just click on these guys here. So you have narrow width, we have normal width, you see it stretches to the left and the right, then we have left sidebar, nothing happens, and we have right sidebar. So let's go back here. If this happens, and you see you click on it and nothing happens, this is as old as the mountains in WordPress that sometimes in the customizer, you click on something and it doesn't update. To get it to go back and you know show what's going on, just go up here and refresh. Saved anything, you click just on refresh. Let's go back here. 
and I'm just going to close that. We go to single posts and let's select this one with the sidebar and you see it updates and it shows us the sidebar. This is what I'm interested in, but probably not on the left. Let's put it on the right. And again, it doesn't want to go to the right. Let's just publish it. I'm going to refresh it again. And it's going to keep taking us there. Okay, and there's on the right. Just be weary of that. It's something that happens. It could be my connection as well. Maybe my local host that I'm using. All of this could have an effect on that. Let's click here on this one called Featured Image. And as I click on Featured Image, you will see my Featured Image comes in at the top, that image that we had brought at the beginning. Let's deactivate it again because I want you to notice in Bloxy that currently you don't see that little arrow on the right. But once I click on it, you will see that little arrow appears. And that's an indication that there are more settings within Bloxy. So let's click on it and it takes you to above title from Winelands to Mountains to below title. You can choose that. You can choose aspect ratios that you want it to be at. Ooh, very nice. Or original, predefined. Let's put it on 16 to 9 just to look at it. And if later on you decide you don't like it, you want it back to the default state, you will see there's a little reset button down here. You can reset it over there. Let's put it back on 16 to 9. And to go back to the other settings, you click here on this back button. And here we are again here. And over here, this is where you can have all of this control over it. But what we're going to do is just go up. Let's go to post title. So let's first see what the post title is all about. And I'm going to deactivate it. So when I deactivate it, you see this part disappears, but my featured image remains. So if I deactivate it, it's gone. If I activate it, you see there are more settings because the moment you see that little arrow appears, it tells you there's more you can do. This whole area becomes clickable. So if I click here, it's going to take me into the more settings for my post title. Let's click on type two. Now things have switched around a little bit. Suddenly it goes here to the top. Uh, we have our title here and we have a few options here at the bottom. Let's see what we've got here. We can put it to the left, in the middle, to the right. Let's put it on the left. And then we have control here over the height of that container. Ooh, like that. And then we can choose a background for it. Color, featured image, or custom image. And I want to use the featured image, the flag. So if I click on featured image, you're going to see it brings in the flag. Now we've got two flags. We'll remove this one because we don't need it. We've got it there. But the problem is we definitely cannot read the title at this moment. So what we do is up here, Design, you see the tab, click on that. And this is going to give you all the control over the fonts and the colors. So the title font color here, we click on this one and we just choose this color here, color five. You also have control over your own custom colors. And then meta, we go here, same thing. Click on the white, there you see that. And as you hover over it, it will turn green. This is this one, you can change that color if you want to. I'm going to leave it on green. And we don't have an excerpt for this one. I think this is how I want it to look. So let's click back here. And the thing now is we want to remove this flag. So let's deactivate the featured image again. And now things are starting to look a little bit better. So by selecting this right sidebar, you will see the content area style is set to white. If I click and set it to box, you will see it gets a little bit narrower. And I like it boxed. Uh, that's kind of the feeling you get when you are working with a block. It's, it's a very typical block display. Let's look at the settings here on the left. Um, we have post tags, share box. So the share box, this one here, that allows you to share. And you can see again, you have more settings. So, oh, you've got Reddit. You can add all of these. You can deactivate a few. For example, if you don't want Twitter, you deactivate it or Pinterest. Then you have Facebook and LinkedIn. Let's put back Pinterest and Twitter. And the others, WhatsApp, interesting. Let's add WhatsApp there as well. And you can put it at the top or at the bottom and top and bottom. So let's put it here. And you can even have control here, put it on the side. Where is it now? Side, over here. Okay, cool, look at that. So when you hover here in the bottom right-hand corner, it will extend like this. Hmm. Very nice feature. And this all in the free version of Bloxy. I say that because in many other applications, you have to pay for these features. 
Let's click back and see what else have we got here. Let's say I want to add an author box. Click on the author box. And over here, it's going to tell you a little bit more about the author, which in this case is me. It's very empty at this moment. It just shows the name admin. It doesn't show a picture, nothing else. But we will fix that. So if you go here to author box, click on that. You have different. Ooh, la la. Social icons. Let's remove the social icons but, and put it back on that one. Good. And now we've set up the styling for this page here. The other thing though, is that you can see the background is slightly gray and that's often how it looks because it gives you, which we refer to as a magazine feeling, you know, in a magazine you have it like pages, it feels like a page, but you can also remove this background color. So that is always done color with design. So while we are here on our post, post title, post structure, you go to design, and I'm pretty sure we're going to find the background color here, content area background, click on that. It looks like white, trust me, it's not white. Click here on white, oh, it is content area background. Oh, page background, and we click here on inherited, but we're going to set it to white. And the moment I do that, you see now we don't see that box anymore. The background is completely white. And now we've set up our single post. This is how we want it to look for each and every other post that we are going to create. Let's publish it. Publish is same for save. And if we click here on the X, it will exit the customizer for the theme and we are back in the admin dashboard. Let's go to the front. And this is how it looked previously. Do you remember? Let's refresh this page. And you will see it looks this way. The new one that we had set up. Great bananas. Things are starting to play out very nicely. Naturally, you're not going to have only one post. You're going to have many posts. And every time you have a new post, you come here to add new and you go through the same procedure we did. But now I want to give you a shortcut. What's going to happen is that you're going to write a post and you're going to set it up in a specific way and you're going to tell yourself, I like it like this. Why do I want to bring in those blocks each and every time? I can just follow the same process, right? Isn't there a shortcut way? Isn't there a way that I can go ahead and duplicate this post and I don't have to create the same one again and again and again? And the answer is yes. Within WordPress, you can get an app, you can get a plugin to do that for you. Go to plugins because that's where we get plugins and you can just click on it and it will take you to the plugin area and you will see currently we only have the Bloxy Companion, the one we had installed earlier. We're going to bring a new one. Cling on add new and it takes you to the WordPress repository and we're going to search it because it's in there and we look for duplicate posts or duplicate post it should give you then a list of things that match your query and this one here duplicate post with three plus million installations this is the baby we want to bring in click here on install now and we go through the same process you install it you activate it and now you will see it will appear here Bloxy, under Bloxy Companion, there's duplicate post. And most of the time when you bring in a new plugin, it's going to bring in some new information. You will see it appears up here. You can just ignore it. You'll hear people always tell you ignore it and you usually will go and check it out. So what has this done? Let's go to posts, click on that, and you will see here is our post. As you hover over it, we have these quick links below it. And these two, have been brought in with that plugin, clone and new draft. What we want to do is we want to clone this post that we had created. So if I click here on clone, it's going to make a second one with the same name, but it's going to say it's a draft behind it. And this is the one that we want to go and change. So we click on the title to enter the editor and everything is going to look exactly the same because we cloned it. The first thing you need to do is change the title. So go up here, select the text and change it. Castles, oh, my spelling, castles, castles, and more castles. And then I'll just publish it, publish it again. And now I have to just switch out all the content. So the first thing I'm going to do is go here to the featured image, click on it. And then I'll bring my Explorer and I'm going to look for Romania here. Romania, bring in that flag. And then here again for the text, remember to bring in alternate text. I always forget that. Paste that there, set featured image, and there we go. Then from here, 
Now, this is the idea behind a clone page is that I'm not going to change the layout of this page. I'm going to use it exactly like this. I'll just change the title. Dracula was so lucky, something like that. And then over here, click on this image. And then I'll just bring my Explorer and I'll drag this image and it replaces it. That's how simple that was done. Same for this one. Click on it, bring my Explorer, grab my next image, click and drag it, drop it on that one and it replaces. Same for this one. Let's do the same. And then you just have to a uh, wonderful experience. And then, of course, you have to go and change the text here. But this gives you a nice layout, exactly everything that you need. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's have a look at a few other things, though, of a blog post. So if you click here on the page, anywhere on the page, not on the content, it's going to select document over here. Let's go through all these labels because all of them are connected to your post. Many times when you are creating a normal website with just pages, you'll never use any of those or you'll use very few of them. But when you are working with a blog post, you're probably going to be using them all the time. The first one is status and visibility, and you will see it will tell you it is currently public and the date you had published it. Now here you can go and change the date. So for example, if I want to backdate this, I want to say this was published in the past, or I want to schedule it for the future, I can set it for the future, like 17th, or in this case, I'm going to backdate it. I'm going to click here on 13th May, and I can even set the time, and you will see now the date has changed. Let's go to permalink, and before we talk to permalink, let's update this site, and we click here on preview. It opens a new preview for us, so we can see here consoles and castles, and you see it updated the featured image to that one that we had used. And there is the article again, and it looks same layout as the previous one that we had used. Let's close this, and we close this one too, so we don't get confused and go to the back end. And then let's talk about permalink. Click here on permalink, and you will see it says URL slug, the last part of the URL, and view post, and then they have this address over here. Now click on this little icon. It's going to open another page, but this is not a preview page. This is basically the page and the link that people will use when they come to your site. So if you look up here, it says bloxy-blogging.local. This is the name of my website. This is your URL, your domain. This part here is a slug. A slug is the part that you th throw at the back of the URL. And together, these form the permalink the link that will come to this page. So if you want people to come to this specific page, you give them this whole URL. And that part here, the slug, makes your permalink for this specific page. This is a few words. Try not to get too you know, tangled up in that. Just remember that a permalink is the name, the URL, the address for this specific page. If yours looks different to mine, you have to go and change it. Well, I recommend you change it. And I'm going to show you quickly where to do that. Click here on Bloxy Blogging or whatever yours says and go to the back end. And then you go to Settings, hover over it, and you look for Permalinks. Click on Permalinks. And you will see mine is set to Post Name. Most of the time, WordPress starts by putting it on Plain. It starts here. So if it's on Plain, I'm going to save the changes. Then I'm going to open the front end again, click here. And now you see we have two because we have created two and now two of them display here on the front end. Let's click here again on castles, castles and more castles. And now you see it says this for my slug, question mark P equals 27. This doesn't look beautiful at all, right? And that is the default setting that WordPress usually uses. So if yours looks like this or different, go back into the back end, settings, permalinks, and choose post name. Some people like to use day and name, month and name. Well, most of us use post name. And that's going to take the title of the post and add it. So we can say save changes. Let's go to the front end, choose it. And you will see it says castles, castles, and more castles. If I scroll down, I have the option here to go to the previous article, which is next post. Click on that. It will take me from the winelands to the mountains. And you see here, the slug is from the winelands to the mountains. Let's jump to the back end again. This is where we started. And that's 
what the permalink is all about. You can change the permalink. So if you think this permalink is too long, you do this. You select it and you type in Romania. Because it's Romania where you went to. It doesn't have to be this long title. It can just be Romania. Click on Update. And then here with few posts, click on it here now. It opens it again. And you will see now it says Romania for your slug. That's how you can make it shorter. And usually if search engines like Google, when they look for sites, they like those ones that are a little bit shorter because it's easier for people to remember. So if you can make it shorter and still keep it relevant, try and do so, for example, in this case, Romania. Just remember, you cannot have two pages with the same. Otherwise, that's going to be super confusing. Let's close all of this. Otherwise, we confuse ourselves and go to the back end. And let's have a look at what else do we have here. The next important one is categories. Let's go down here to categories. Now, category is like I explained to you previously. If you walk into any store, you're going to find vegetables. You're going to find meat. You're going to find the bakery. Those are categories. You group them into one area so that when people want to search for something, they can search it within a category. And that's what you do over here as well. You can add the category here or you can add it in the WordPress dashboard. But let's add it over here. And what we want to do is we want to travel the world and we want to categorize where we go by continent. So, for example, this is going to be Europe, right? That's a category. Let's add a new category and then new category name. We call this Europe and parent, com parent category. Nope. So we just say add new category and then we deselect uncategorized. Let's update that. Let's go preview it and see if we see anything here. Mm, and you see here, now it has changed here, the category to in Europe. Ooh, okay. And if I scroll down here on the right, you're going to see categories and there's going to be a category for Europe. This will allow your visitor that if they want to see all the articles that you've written about Europe and they click here on Europe, which I'm going to do, it takes them to a page similar to the one we've seen on the front, but this page is only going to display articles related to Europe. It's a filter. That's kind of what you were doing here. You were filtering it. Awesome. Let's close it out. Let's go to the back end, and that's how you set up categories. And we'll do the one for the South Africa one after this. So let's collapse this. Tags. Now, tags is another way that you want to look for something. For example, what is it that you do on traveling? For example, castles. Let's put here castles. Castle, you can, is it singular or plural? I'll go for sing, no, I'll go for plural. Castles. And after you've done that, just press enter. And it looks like this. We're going to type in there Romania. And what else? Travel. We can say backpacking. These are all words that are related to what you do. And again, they will be like filters. So let's say update. I don't think there's anything for this on the front end, so we can click on preview. I doubt it. Let's see. Yep. So we don't have tags here, but oh, yeah, we have tags here at the bottom. And this is the same. Now, for example, and let's, let's keep backpacking and travel, and I'll show you soon what I will do with that. So let's go back here. That's tags. Featured image. You understand featured image by now. And excerpt. Now, the excerpt is that little text that's going to appear on your front when people come to your site. And I'm going to go to Lorem Ipsum and I'll just grab some text here, copy that, paste it. And remember, it starts with it, Omare, we'll test it now. Let's update that. Let's preview, here we are on the front end. And now you see the excerpt appears up here because that's how we set it in the customizer. Unfortunately, we didn't change the color, so we cannot see it. So we have to change the color. How do we do that? Go into the customizer. And that's what we can do from up here. Click on customize. It opens the customizer for us. Go to single post. Scroll down and we look for excerpt. Do, do, do. Where is excerpt? That is part of the post title. That's where we'll find it. Over here is the excerpt. So let's go to design. And excerpt font, change the color, also put it on white. There's that little excerpt that appears there. Let's go back and let's publish this. And if I close now, it takes me back to this page because this is where we had 
access the customizer from, it will bring us back here. Things are starting to look very good for our site. Good, 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 good. Let's go to the back end, the last part. So that's where you put the excerpt. The last part is discussion. And this is where you get your comments and this little thing called pingbacks and trackbacks. We're not going to cover that. You can activate it, deactivate it. Not important for this one. But let's talk about comments. And this is where you have to decide what kind of blogger you are. Do you like comments? And some people will tell you you have to leave it on. Otherwise, the whole purpose of blogging is just too vain. But I would tell you this is something you have to decide. If you just like to put your thoughts out there, but you don't want people to comment on it, then deactivate it. And if I click on deactivate, let's just go to the front so you'll see where the comments currently are. They are here. Leave a reply. And I update it. It's deselected. Go to the front, scroll down. You won't see any area for them to leave a comment. That is the purpose behind that. Okay, but I'm going to say allow comments so that we can see how it works. And we just check that it is there. Let's go to the South African article and we do the same. So while we're here on the front, we can see here, it says in the sidebar, recent posts. So we select this one from the Winelands to Mountains. Click on that one. And now I want to edit this one. I don't have to go into the back end. You see up here in the toolbar, it says edit post. Simply click on it and it's going to open this one for me. Sometimes, I want to say most of the time, you're going to find that you have many tabs open here at the top and it can become very confusing. I'm done with this one, so I'm just going to close this one and I'm back here and it's going to tell me there's some auto save. If you know this is the one you want to work with, don't care about it, just get that box out of the way. Let's go to the options in the sidebar and first look at the permalink. Again, very long permalink, nothing wrong with it, but let's take it and make it South Africa. One word, or if you want a space, you have to use dash like this. You cannot have spaces. It must be connected. You can use a dash. So I'm going to say South dash Africa and it will update my permalink for me. Let's look at categories. So currently it's set to uncategorized. We want to make this Africa. It's not Europe. So we add a new category. We call it Africa and then add new category and deselect uncategorized. Then we go to tags. This is, let's say, what do we want here? We want South Africa and you see I can add a space here, enter, so that's fine. And then I'm going to say travel and backpacking. And as you see, as I start typing it, Bloxy and WordPress is gonna say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you already typed something like this previously. Is this what you're looking for? And as you start typing it, it will give you suggestions. And if it is, you select it and it's going to recognize that you have used that before. Let's sit in wildlife. Right, that's it. We have featured image already. Excerpt, we don't have an excerpt. Let's grab some excerpt for that. Copy, paste. And then discussion, yeah, we can just leave that. Let's update it and then we go preview how this one will display now. So you will see here is our category. It will say it's in Africa. And as I scroll down, you're going to see down here the tags, backpacking, South Africa, travel, and wildlife. If I click on wildlife, this is my only article that I have in wildlife. So this is all that is going to display. Let's click back. If I click on travel, remember, I had given both my Romanian and South Africa article this tag. So if I click on travel, I expect to see both of them. And these are all just filters. That's how we use it. Let's click back. Let's see what else do we have here. And that's it. Right. So we have set this up. We have set up this article. Let's go and do one more article. So I'm going to close this one. We're in the back end. We have saved it. Let's go back to WordPress. And we are going to create a third one. And we'll just clone any of these. So let's go from the winelands to the mountains. Let's clone that one. You see it says draft. And then I'm going to click on it. Let's change it here. Wonderful valleys. I'm not sure which one. Valleys and shrines. I think this is the one for Vietnam. So let's publish that. Publish it again. Right. And let's go through these settings quickly here on the right. So close that. We go to status and visibility. I'm going to backdate it. Let's put this one on May the 2nd. Permalink, I'm going to select the URL slug and call this one Vietnam. Okay, then categories, this is going to be in Asia. So add new category, Asia, add new, deselect Africa. 
tags, I'm going to, ah, because I cloned it, so it remembers. This is not South Africa, this is not wildlife, but I'll keep backpacking and travel, and I'm going to put here valleys, and I'm going to put here shrines. Good, and then featured image. Okay, I have to replace this. I click on it, bring my explorer, grab my Vietnamese flag, drag it in, and then I'm going to copy this here and paste it in my alternative text. Set featured image. And then the excerpt, I'm going to grab other text for that one because that text there has been copied. We cloned it. This is the great part. Just remember it and that's it. So let's update this one. And then we're going to make some changes here. Now, in many cases, you are going to be happy with a layout and you're going to maybe use the same layout again and again. But in, in most cases, you're going to bring in special content just for that. So for example, Let's say you want to do something different between these two paragraphs. As I hover over it, you will see the plus appear there. Let's click on Add Block, and I'm going to bring in a gallery. So I click here on Gallery. I'll go to my Explorer, and I'm going to select these three images. Or oh, let's make, yeah, let's click one, two, three. I select all three of them. I click and hold and drag them here and drop them, and you will see three of them load like this. These two have captions. That's what you see appears over there. And then you have the settings over here. Columns. How many columns? Do you want three or do you want two? Well, I actually like it with two. That's an interesting setup. And it can say crop images. Yes, I'm going to crop them so that they all have the same height. And then I think that's it. So let me just go here. I wonder if I can delete. Ah, I can delete the caption. So I highlight the captions and I delete it. And you can leave it if you want. Let's see how this looks on the front end. So we update. Preview. Right, there's our featured image updated, and nice, look at this. Pretty, pretty good. Let's go to the back end, so we have to delete this. So what I'll do is I'll click on the image, go here to the three dots, and click on Remove Block, and I'll do the same with these images as well, because we're not going to use them. And this one as well. Remove Block, and then let's change the title. A day in my past, no idea what that means. And we changed the one up here, did we? Experience of a lifetime. A trip forever to remember. Great. Before we continue, or we're going to continue, you can build out this page with those blocks that I had shown you. So just to go up here again, if you click on the plus, you will see these blocks. Now, all of these blocks come with the WordPress Gutenberg editor. They are very limited. They allow you to do good stuff, but they don't allow you to do amazing great stuff. And if you like to throw some glitter and bling on your site, these guys are not really going to do it for you. The great thing about WordPress is there's always a plugin for it, and you can go and look for it, and there are good ones and there are bad ones, and we feature the good ones here on Websites for Beginners. So I'm going to go and install a plugin that will allow me to really beef up this vlog blocking site of mine. I'm going to make sure I've saved it, yep, and then go to WordPress to the back end. We go to Plugins, and we have these two currently, and I'm going to add a new one. And this one is called Cubely. Q-U-B-E-L-Y, Cubely. And it will search for Cubely over here with a nice big Q and install. We go through the same process, installation, activation. Activate. Cubely is going to appear here now in the navigation sidebar you will see over here. We're not going to worry about that. Let's go back to our posts, click on posts, and we were working with this wonderful valleys and shrines. And we go in here. Now if I want to bring in something, let's say we want to change the title up here, we want to bring in a different one, click on add block, and then when I collapse this, you're going to see Cubely appears over here. If I click on it, we're going to have many other flashy blocks that we can use here. So for example, if I look for, what can I use here? Mm, okay, so, well, for example, here's a divider. If I click on that, it gives me this little divider that I can use. So we have so many tutorials on Cubely just to give you a sneak peek into the fact that there are so many other extensions that you can bring on. Let's update, let's preview it quickly to see how this will look. And this is how you can build out your site, give it a little bit more extra panache. There's that, right? So we just have to maybe put this one here, click on it and make sure it's aligned to the left. Update. 
And there we go. Hmm. 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 Let's go to the main page where people will come. And this is up here where you see Bloxy blogging. If I click here, it takes me to the front page and we see we have three articles. Let's just add two more and I'm not going to do major stuff with it. So I'm going to go back here, save WordPress. I'll go to Wonderful Valleys and I'll clone this. And let me see what other flags do I have here. Canada, I, I'm not sure. Let's click on this one. A series of mountains and I'm not going to worry about the content I just want to change the featured image so we have a different country at least here so I'm going to bring in Canada and then publish this one okay let's go back to WordPress we create another one and let's clone this one a series of mountains go to the draft this one for love of soccer for love of soccer or football, and then I'm going to bring in for that one, Brazil. And then of course, you're going to go ahead and change all your content here. And let's go back to the back end. If you go to this tab where the front is at the moment, if I refresh this, we are expecting five articles. And how these guys are sorted is the newest one here, and then the dates, these two we backdated they are presented like this. So this is our blog posts page. This is our archive page. And just like the single post, we can also change how this one displays. And to do that, we go into the customizer of Bloxy. So we go up here to the toolbar, click on customize. And now we look for the blog posts right over here. And you will see we have one there under post type for blog post and click on that. Ooh, what have we got here, Cindy? We've got a few different structures. So currently it's set to this one called a grid. Let's go for simple. Okay, so you, when I click on these, it reminds you of other sites that you've seen and where you've seen these kind of layouts. This one is classic. So it's a big image with a little bit here at the bottom, which is a very classic way how it used to look. We looked at the grid and then we have enhanced grid. Enhanced grid gives you these two at the top and then the rest small. And then we have Gutenberg. Gutenberg is also a big one like this. Now I actually like this enhanced. So let's click on the enhanced grid. We style it a little bit differently. Then we can also have a block title. So I'm going to activate it here again. Let's click here. Let's go to this one at the top and then it's going to say home. I don't think we want to do that. If I click here on title, can I change it? Oh, I can. So I go here to title and we change it to my travels. And then let's see if we can add a custom image to the background. So I click here on background type, custom image, scroll down, select image, and then we have to bring in an image. And I'll just select one of these images that we have used. So let's go for, I think, ooh, the Romanian landscape, this one. We have it already, so I can just select it and bring it in. Okay, and now we cannot see the text. So what we can do for that is we go to our design, design, and then where do we have image overlay color? I'm going to click on this one, and then I'm going to click here on color four, and then here is a opacity slider and reduce it. Or should we make it white? Let's do the opposite. And we do it like this, my travels. So this is our block title. Let's click back. What else do we have here? We have carts options. Click on this one. And the cart is how this will display. So you can have carts per page, the gaps between them. So if I want to reduce that gap or if I want to increase the gap. Right, then you can set it to one and then you can change these guys around and how this will display and the order that they will display. Do I want a sidebar? Yes, indeed I do. So even though this is going to be my front page, my home page, my landing page where people will arrive, I do want a sidebar. So I'm going to add the sidebar there so that people can easily navigate. This is the idea when you go to magazine sites and blogging sites is that you have this navigation area where things just happen easier. You have your categories over here and then you have your recent posts over here and we will make some changes to this sidebar. For example, I don't want this metadata here 
and maybe recent comments. I also don't want that over there. Good, and let's see what else have we got here. There's so many options in Bloxy, it can be a little overwhelming. Let's say cards reveal effect. Let's see if we activate that. Hmm, what does that do? I don't see anything happen. Maybe there's some feature on the front end. Let's publish it. Let's exit and see what happens if we go to the front. Ah, oh, you see that little thing? Ah, cards reveal. Hmm, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's go back into the back end and I'll just close this one. So we just have one tab working with WordPress. And let's go again into our customizer where we were just now. And what did I say? Now we look here at the sidebar, we want to remove some of these categories because they're a little bit distracting. And you probably wondering what is a site admin, logout, entries feed, do I want this here? And if you don't want it, you have to remove it. What you see here in the sidebar, we like to refer to as widgets. So the first thing you have to remember is sidebar and then the widgets in the sidebar. So you have to go and find the sidebar. Go to the settings on the left, look for sidebar or widgets. And then I see here widgets. So if I click on the widgets, it will say main sidebar. And then over here, you can see all these widgets that have been included. You can add ones and you can take these away. There's a search. You see the search up here. We want to keep that. Recent posts. Yeah, that's useful. Recent comments. No. So click on the drop down and click on remove. And it's gone. Archives. Now, archives are going to give you the backlogs by date. So if people want to look at articles that you had published in May in the future, then it will appear here. And also for all the new ones, it will be sorted here by date. I think that's okay. If you don't think that's necessary, remove it. Categories, yes, I want to keep that. And then here for the meta, I want to remove this. And then you can click here on remove. Have a look at what else you can add. Click here on add a widget and you see, ooh la la, there's a lot of stuff. So if you want to have maybe an image there, let's click here on the image and it brings in the image. And then we can add an image. Let's bring in the food. I like, where's the food one? There, okay, add that. And then you will see it will display here, but let's drag it to the top. So you just hover over it, click and drag it to the top, drop it there. And that gives your front page a little bit of a nice little display. I'm thinking about these cards that we have here. So I'm going to click back here. Let's go to our blog page over here where we were. And then we're going to go to the block title or the card options. I'm pretty sure it's at the card. So what we're going to do is switch the order of these things around. I'm going to put my featured image at the top. That's nice. Then I'm going to have my title. Let's see if that looks better. Then my excerpt. And then over here, admin and the date. I'm going to take this it's post meta and put it under featured. Ooh, post meta, I'll put it there. And I wonder if I need that. So for the Asia, I'm going to deselect that. In fact, this one, it seems I can remove it. So I remove it and that's all I need. I can add a few things here if I wanted to. There's a read more button. If I click that, it gives me read more. But if you don't have it, no worry. You can still hover and click on it and it will take you into that article. And now I'm starting to feel much better about how my blog looks, except I'm actually not happy with this image up here. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to the design. Let's go back. This is card options and we go up here to block title and design and image overlay. I will reduce that to zero. I don't want the image overlay. There is that little selector and then I'll change the title font to white and I'll make it bigger. So I'll click here under title font and font size. I'm going to increase it like this. Click back, click back, publish. And let's make the final changes to our site. Up here is your header. And what I want to add here as a menu is I want to add my categories, like whether it's Africa, Asia, or Europe. I have to go and create a menu and that menu you create within WordPress. Let's exit the customizer. We're back in WordPress and menus fall under appearance. So you go to appearance, then menus, and then you have to create a new menu. So I'm going to call this my main menu because I usually 
call the main menu, the area where I display it at the top, click on create, and now I'm going to bring in my categories. So if I go here to categories and select that, you're going to see the three that I had created, Asia, Europe, and Africa. Select all, click on add to menu, and then I, they appear here. I'll put them alphabetical order, Africa, Asia, Europe. And then I will just say save menu. Let's see how it looks on the front end. And they appear over here. And they appear, well, automatically because that's the only menu you have created. So Bloxy will look at that and say, oh, okay, I see you've created these guys. Let me add this menu to it. But what if you want to have a little bit more control over it? Then you go into Bloxy Customizer, Customize and you look for a header down here, click on header, and it takes you into a very spiffy area called the header builder. And we will have tutorials on that. We're not gonna cover this, but the header builder allows you so, so much flexibility. It can change how it looks. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this header transparent, yes. So what we will have to do here is we want to apply this transparent header to everything on our site. And to do that within Bloxy, you go here to select header. From the drop down, you select transparent. But what is important, what you have to do next, is you have to set a condition. And this is very, very unique to a free theme in WordPress, this. But it's an amazing feature. It may be a little bit challenging at the beginning, but once you get used to it, you'll understand this is a very powerful feature within Bloxy. Click on conditions and what conditions do is, it's a rule where do you want this transparent header to display on your site. In our case, we want it to display on each and every post. So we're going to say add new condition, include entire website, good, that's it. We don't have to go further except you have to click on save condition. Now, Two things. The first thing is that you will have to set the text so that you can read it, right? Currently, this is dark and the background is also dark. That's very important. You have to set the text to an opposite to the background. So that means point two, every time you bring in a featured image, you have to make sure that it's a dark image because we're going to set this header to light. To do that, we go here to the header builder and I'm going to click on menu and that gives me the menu settings. Go to design, font color, and I'll change it to white. Now we can see it. And then the hover, I'm also going to put it on white, but just reduce the opacity a little bit. Let's go to the search, click on search here. It opens the search options, go to design. We make the item color also white. Now you see that. Let's go here where logo is and we're going to remove it. So I click here on the close and we take it out of our header. And that's how our header will look. Let's publish it, exit, so we can see how it will look on the front. So here we have that. If I click here on Africa, it's going to show me everything with Africa in. Let's go back, Asia, same, let's go back. And if I choose any of these articles, like this one here we had for South Africa, you're going to see it has updated that transparent header at the top. Last few things, let's go and change this here, the author. Currently it says admin and it shows this, well, it shows nothing there, just that shape. We want something in there. Let's go to the back. And we are going to do all of that with a plugin that makes it much easier than the normal way, which is Gravatar. Go to plugins and click on add new and you're going to look for one called user picture. Over here, user profile picture. I knew I was going to find it. Click on install now. We go through the same process, install and activate. Activate. And then you go set it up within your settings. Over here you see users, this is you. Go to your profile, and then here you have the profile image and your name. So your nickname is this one, and I'm going to change that to JP. Display name publicly as JP, and then click here, and I bring in an image. 
let's go find an image for me. Cat logo, and I have to bring in probably in pin. Right, so here, let's bring in the cat. And that's white. No one's going to see that. Let's bring in another cat. This one. Okay, set profile image. There we go. And then you save it here at the bottom. Update the profile. Let's go see on the front end how our site looks. Click here on Bloxy Blogging. So we've got everything you will see here. It has updated to my name. And if I click on this one, there's my little image that appears. So the user profile picture is going to allow you to do that. And now you have set up your blogging site. There is so much more to show you. Bloxy, we've just touched the surface. We've barely grazed it. It's, it is, it's just like a little gust of wind that came by and you were aware of Bloxy and what you can do with blogging and Bloxy. There is so, so much more. But what I hope actually that this tutorial had given you was an understanding of how you create blog posts within WordPress and how you display them, how you work with the theme to make those changes, and that there is a difference between a single post, which is the article you have written, and then your blog post, which is your landing page, which contains an archive of all your posts. So if I just remove this and I go to that one, this is your blog post, the page that you land on. Because we've done this out of the box with WordPress, you don't have to go and set up this page. This page is automatically generated for you by WordPress and the theme. WordPress works like this. It works on this archive page and Bloxy comes in and says, how do you want it to look? You come into my customizer, you style it, I display it. The last few things that you have to change, and that is your site identity. And after that, we are done for this one. Otherwise, we're going to run into hours of hours. And I think if we were to do a very detailed, thorough tutorial, we're going to run into five hours. And I don't think my voice is going to last. Let's go to the back end. And then to set the site identity, we are going to go to your customizer. Now, the site identity is everything up here. So if we go to the Lorem Ipsum generator and I click on it, you will see there's a little icon there, and then there's the name for Lorem Ipsum Generator. And even as I hover over it, you will see there's that little tip, the tooltip and the name of your site appears there. This is everything about your site identity. And we want to do the same for our site. So I go here, go look for Customizer, which is under Appearance here. And we go into Bloxy, and now we need to set up the site identity. Again, from each theme to the next, you're going to find them in different places. I guess we're going to find it here in General Options. Under General, click on that. Let's see. And I'm completely wrong. It's not here. So let's click back. Header, header, performance, sidebar. Ah, here at the bottom, Core, Site Identity. Luckily, I didn't bet any money on that. So click on Site Identity. It gives you the site title. Currently, it's set to Bloxy Blogging. So let me just change it, and I call it travel blog and then tagline is just like a little subheading my my worldly adventures and then i'm going to set a site icon and i'm just going to use this cat that i've brought in crop image yep and then it's there publish and see how quickly it updates there at the top so let's close here and then we go to the front end and you will see it says Travel blog, my worldly adventures with my little kitty cat appearing there. And that's my site. I have my travel blog. And now all you need to do every time you have a new blog or you have a new article, you just come here, you log into WordPress, you go to the back end, you go to your posts. You can either create a new one or you can take an existing one and you can clone it. And everything else is done automatically. That post is added to your site and your front will update. So it will display here in this grid, the enhanced grid with the rest of your posts. If you want to change the sidebar here, you come and you can activate it. You can deactivate it. You can add other widgets. You can remove other widgets. And this is as simple as you can set up this travel block from scratch. Now, this is the focus here today is all about blogging and other tutorials we have focus all about page making. Most of the times for companies and many other organizations, you're going to combine it. You're going to have pages and posts. 
We'll cover that in so many tutorials here at Websites for Beginners because then you are going to make decisions like which is going to be your homepage, which page will people see when they come to your site, and how can you display some of your posts on some of your pages, right? Decisions, decisions, we love them so much and then we hate them also a lot. So go play around with this, go check out Bloxy, give it a nice spin, and I hope this has really given you a thorough foundation for understanding how to work with blogs and posts within WordPress. This is JP here at Websites for Beginners. Have a lovely day. Stay safe.